today's video we're changing out a shaft drive PTO which was the PTO with the drive shaft and the pump was mounted to the back here I don't like those shafts spinning because we do a lot of running on the landfill and it picks up plastic and pieces wire so I like the direct mount pumps so here is direct mount PTO basically what I did I sent this out I did pull the PTO out of the truck and sent it out and they put this direct mount pump mount on it so the, the pump will mount directly here so there is the pump that's going to drive this. This is going to get a single axle roll off hoist on it. And this video will be added to the whole build of the truck. But I've everybody's been asking me about, oh, I have to mount a PTO. I don't know how, really know how to mount a PTO. Quite honestly, I've done a few PTOs. So far, so good. An old guy taught me a few little tricks. Hopefully, I can tell you and you can learn to. This is the only truck I have with a drive shaft PTO. And the problem is that when you're on the landfill, it picks up uh, like plastic shopping bags, wraps them around the drive shaft, and amazingly, they walk right up into that seal and pull the seal out. I like the direct mount PTOs. So that's why we switched this one out. Okay, here's the opening for the transmission. Now, usually, I've been lucky with this one because when I took the old PTO off, it had three gaskets. So, that tells me, because the gaskets work as shims. There's your gasket there. So we're going to put three gaskets back in and we're going to check the, the lash. Now these are different thicknesses. But I'm going to use one thicker one and two smaller ones. So we should be in pretty good shape because you have to have a little bit of lash in your gear when you put it back together because you don't want the gear meshing really really tight because it'll do damage to the gear and wear your PTO out pretty quickly so let me put this guy up here okay up there like so Now, normally if, if you're putting a brand new PTO in, you'd have to put the studs in and all. Luckily, everything's here with this guy. It's all ready to roll. So.
So I'm going to tighten these up and check for our lash. Shouldn't be too bad. And I'll get all these bolts tightened up. So this is the cover for the shifter. Now, this is an old guy told me this trick. Now, it did help that uh, I knew how many gaskets came out of here. And they are different thicknesses. And usually when you, you're a PTO guy, when you get a PTO, they give you a bunch of extra gaskets. So they work like shims. So this comes out. That's what it looks like inside there. I don't know whether you can see so good. I apologize for it being so dark, but it's very cloudy out today. And of course, now there's the main gear. And you want a little bit of play. Hear that bumping? That way you have you know you're not ground in tight and your gear's not got constant pressure against it. If not, it'll when you run your run down the highway the this spins constantly here's the gear, gear that kicks in to drive the shaft so you don't want it howling so basically what we have to do is just put a little gasket material on this tighten it up and luckily this truck already had the PTO so I have all the shifter arm and everything is right here the little uh, switch for the light when the PTO is running and then the direct mount pump goes right in there into a spline shaft. Well thank you for watching. If this was helpful I'm very happy. Please like and subscribe. Oh there we go. I figured out <laughs> how to turn on my flash. So there it is. It's all set up. Luckily, like I said, this uh, was already set up in here. That's the cable. And then and there she's engaged. And disengaged. Now all I have to do is fill her up with the wheel. And I'll mount the pump right here. That'll be my hydraulic pump for the hoist. I apologize for the video being dark and different, but I'm not very good at all this. But hopefully this helps you out a little bit. But that's the way I've always done these PTOs, and they work out really well. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, slowly but surely, we're going to get this truck put together, and you'll see what it looks like with the, the hoist and operating. Thank you. Have a great day.